Hey everyone, it's Xavier Carrington here, Multimedia Specialist. I'm going to give you three tips to help you feel better and look better on camera. As you know, some of y'all may be using Zoom to create your content, and that's fine. What I want to do is make sure that we don't end up with those grainy videos and a poor audio with bad lighting. So I'm going to focus on three different things. Lighting, camera, and audio. I'm going to hop right into it, and we're going to talk about the number one thing lighting this is very important to the production let's go this is a great example of backlighting i don't have enough light in front of my face um i may have the window or whatever my light source is behind me which is going to cause my face to get grainy and dark the sensor in your camera is is going to have a hard time reading your face in the backlight because the light is too strong this is a bad example of side lighting. For those who like to sit by the window and don't realize why the light is raking across your face, we call this light rake. It's raking across your face and causing the light to diffuse just on one side. This is not good for the camera and it could also make one side of the video much darker for the quality. And I don't even have to say much about this type of lighting. I mean, would you trying to scare somebody? As you know, I'm going to give you the solution like I always do. Hey, so don't worry. You know your main man, Xavier, is going to give you the best solution for your lighting problem. So if you do have a window that you're using as your light source, you want to make sure that the window or whatever your light source is in front of you, not to the side and not behind. This is going to give you the best results. Also, if you don't have lighting in your room or a window that can give you good lighting, or you may want to record at night. Now, this could cause a problem. Guess what? I have a solution for you. We have these conference lights in ITTD that you can check out for your recording. These are very powerful. USB cord, turn on, give a nice soft white light and it's adjustable. You can control your lighting however you see fit. But the main thing is you wanna make sure that the lighting is based behind your camera, not in front, not to the side or not above, okay? We want to make sure it's behind our camera, right above our eye. Next, I want to talk about number two, the camera. Now, I know a lot of people like to use their laptops or their phone to create whatever the content they're doing. Let's talk about the angles and let's talk about the quality. Now, I'm all about making people feel good and look good on camera. Now, let's fix a couple of issues that can help you feel better and look good on camera when doing a Zoom presentation or recording. First off, let's talk about the angle. A lot of times we record from our laptop or whatever device that we're using, and we like to sit in on the desktop and look at the angle. I'm looking down, you can see the lower half. I look big, my head is tilted down, my neck is gonna hurt, my presentation. I'm just all, just all over the place. Now, how's this? It's a lot better. Now that I elevated my camera, my posture is better. Um, I'm able to engage with my viewers as well as not looking all swole on the camera. Um, they can focus on my face and not how uncomfortable I look sitting in the chair. Also, if you wanna cover up your neck, you can just take your laptop and tilt your angle just a little bit. And this frames your head in very good and gives more of your facial feature and not so much under here. I know you don't want to do that. So Now, in my professional opinion, I recommend using either your cell phone, which everybody has a smartphone. The camera in it is very powerful. Now, if you have the funds and if you want to invest, a professional camera will help too as well. There's different softwares out there that you can download or either come with the devices where you can link to your computers or your PC and actually stream using these cameras um, to record your video. All right, let's talk about our third and final thing that's gonna help bring our videos and content to the quality that we need, and that's audio. And a couple of important things you wanna do is test out your audio, make sure you just got a good quality sound. Uh, you don't wanna sound echoey way back here. Uh, you don't want to sound muffled all up on the mic. Uh, you want to, if you are using the devices um, that's built into your laptop or either your phone, you want to get like a zombie length away from the device. And if you're still not satisfied with your audio, we do have these headsets available in ITTD that you can check out and reserve for your recording. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited about working with you. If you need any more tips or help, 
feel free to reach out to me via email and we can schedule an appointment for a one-on-one -on -one session or you can schedule to utilize our multimedia lab. Hey, Aggie Pride.